Get his bitch ass! Get his bitch ass! What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. This is episode 4 to my myth busting series. If you guys want to see more episodes of this series, uh, check the description below. I'll have a link to the playlist. Anyways, in this episode we're going to be finding out how many bodies the Goldie Gun shots can go through. Let's see what it can equal up to. We're also going to be messing around with the Celestial Nighthawk as well as Combustion. But at first we're not going to be using Combustion just to see how many bodies the actual shot can go through. By the way guys, real quick, for real, thank you guys a lot for the support you've been showing me with this myth busting series. You guys seem to be enjoying it by, you know, the amount of support I've been getting on these videos. So yeah, just wanted to say I appreciate you guys for the support. It means a lot. Anyways, let's start this golden gun experiment without keyhole and of course without combustion. Let's see how many bodies it can penetrate. And as you saw, it is not able to penetrate through a guardian. You can only get one kill at a time with this. Without keyhole, that is. I mean, we haven't tried keyhole, but if you guys don't know what keyhole does, it's supposed to over-penetrate targets. So, let's see what happens with this. Whoa! Um, Hold up, what the fuck? The only survivor. Wait! What? Now, this caught me off guard. What the heck is going on here? With keyhole active, you can only go through one guardian? So you can only get up to maximum of two kills with keyhole? I could have sworn you could go through more bodies than just one. That, ah oh man, that kind of sucks. I was thinking this would be able to penetrate more guardians. And in case you guys are wondering, are these guys actually lined up properly? Yes, they are. We made sure of it. I mean, and we also made sure that we were on a flat surface as well, so there was no, like, awkward hill angle or something with the line of fire. But, yeah, this is kind of crazy. Let's see what happens, though, when we put on Celestial Nighthawk. Maybe we'll be able to penetrate more enemies. In case you guys don't know what Celestial Nighthawk is or does, well, it is an exotic helmet for the Hunter, preferably for PvE, to be honest with you all, just because what it does is it takes the three shots and combines them into one shot, making it do a heavy amount of damage like a lot so let's see if we do a lot of damage all at once are we going to be able to penetrate through more guardians so yeah i guess let's just see what happens does the celestial nighthawk help the golden gun shoot through more guardians oh this too whoa but oh okay what <laughs> here we are once again i am completely caught off guard with this I could have sworn the Celestial Nighthawk was going to be able to shoot through more than just one Guardian. After all, you are doing an insane amount of damage and you only get one shot. So I think that would have been fair if it could have been able to shoot through more Guardians, but hey, as you guys saw, it's still the same results. And keep in mind, Keyhole was active when this was going down as well. So without Keyhole, this would have been just a complete fail. Obviously, this is completely pointless to use in the Crucible because you would only be able to get one kill if you didn't have keyhole active but if you do have keyhole active you have a chance of getting two kills with a super which hey that that sucks but anyways let's see what happens when we have a line of six guardians once again with combustion active let's see if this is able to kill more than just two guardians with one shot in a straight line yeah i already knew this was coming that's why i saved this for last Combustion is definitely the way to go in PvP with the Golden Gun, obviously. You're able to get a lot more kills, as you can see. It's Toasty was the last survivor out of, you know, these six Guardians, and he would have been toasted if they were in more of a circle formation. But, yeah, I thought this was a pretty fun experiment. Hey, if you guys have any recommendations you would like me to do in my Myth Busting series, well, feel free to leave them in the comments. And also, if you could, it'd be greatly appreciated to leave a little bit of support on the video by maybe leaving a like or, hey... Maybe even sharing it. I mean, that is if you want to. It helps out a lot. But anyways, thanks for even coming here and checking this out. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching and listening. Peace out.